Hey guys, this is Jeremy with Brindley Mountain Fire Apparatus in Alabama. Very thankful for the opportunity to uh, get to try to work with you guys, our friends at Lawrenceville again. Um, just going to shoot a walk around video of this 2008 brush truck that we're talking to you about. I just walked around the truck and looked at it myself. Um, it's not Pennsylvania clean. Uh, it's a work truck. Uh, but it's got a lot of good things about it. The paint appears to be in really good condition for a truck that comes out of Florida. We also often get a lot of paint fading, and I don't see that at all on this truck. It's got some dings here and there. I'll try to show you those. Some little rusty spots from the salt in the air. Um, but overall, I think it'll make you a great truck. Uh, a few little cosmetic things that you probably touch up and make it look a lot better. So I hope this video is help, helpful to you as you consider it. Uh, so like I mentioned to you, the paint is in surprisingly good condition. You can see my reflection uh, really easily in there. Uh, normal Florida stuff where the, uh, you know, the rubber and plastic parts are kind of faded. I guess you can see that. Yeah, you can see the difference in the black paint and the faded. Um, and that's just because of the hot sun. The striping on it has taken a little bit of a hit. I'll try to show you. Well, right there it is. It's just... Just again, this ran in a hot uh, in a hot climate. Uh, you can see what it did to the lettering, which we'd be taking that off. Uh, interior is about the same. Uh, I mean, it's got some stuff. You can see it's been it's been used. We haven't cleaned it up yet. Um, it's got a good cold air conditioner. You get a truck out of Florida. Sorry, I shut that door so you can see the miles. There's the mileage: fifty-seven thousand miles. Uh, the interior doesn't look bad. It needs to be cleaned up. Um, but just looks uh, about like a 60,000 mile 60,000 mile truck out of Florida uh, of course it's got the pass through probably maybe that's one of the things you like the best about the truck um, everything looks as you'd expect up on top uh, I checked the tires uh, really good tread and they're pretty new uh, these front tires are uh, they were either I think 20 22s you can see them right there and the rear tires were 21s I can see them right there there's the 21 and uh, let uh, they went with less aggressive tread on the rear but the treads good uh, a little bit of kind of bubbling that's not electrolysis looks like that's the way the truck was made it's just got a little bit of bubbling maybe you'd want to see that there's that uh kind of scrape that i sent you the picture of brad uh sort of just pretty basic compartments they look good uh you'll see all this uh just see that rusty stuff right there from the salt being in the air see rust on the couplings up there uh, it's not, it's not going to hurt anything. It just looks kind of, looks kind of ugly. But again, it's a, it's a workhorse truck. Uh, I did notice that even though they left the winch on the front, they took the uh, cable off the winch. So we replace, we will replace that cable for you. Uh, a little more wear and tear on that, on those compartments there. Uh, these brush trucks are a hot. Uh, they're a hot item for us right now, um, and this is a nice one. Um, hope that video is helpful to you, and uh, I'll do my best to help you with this truck. Thanks for the opportunity to help you again.